slick. Governments will probably mandate central bank digital currency as a solution when the next real or contrived crisis hit, which is likely not far off. You know, so you've got to have your eyes open. Man. So what's going down? So what's happening, man? That's why you must pay attention to what is happening in Nigeria. That way, you can know what expected and take preventive action. There ain't nothing you can do but trust in how much of the outside. Simply all you can do. There ain't nothing else you can do, period. You have trust and faith in how much of the outside, period. That's it, man. You know? But I'm going to keep reading, though, so y'all can hear some of this. In Nigeria, the government implemented discounts and other incentives to increase the ad adoption of a narrow. Let me read this here. The Anera is a central bank of Nigeria issued digital currency that provides a unique form of money denomination in Nera. Inera serves as both the medium of, it don't, and it stops off there. What is the purpose of Inera? Inera is a central bank digital currency backed by law. The full sovereignty of Nigeria issued by Central Bank of Nigeria as a leading tender. And you can see how all this hype with Africa is, uh, uh, with Africa, they're trying to hype Africa up as, like it's some, like it's some motherland, and, you know, like, uh, like there's a new day, <laughs> you know? No, you know, don't be deceived by that madness, man. It's going back to African bullshit. That the Africans is tired of the white man, which they are tired of the white man, is, and it's crooked, crooked ass deceit, wickedness. You know, remember, man, it's the Israelites that are coming back into power. There ain't gonna be no African nations, Hamites prospering on this side, and, and still living, you know, doing that goddamn thing, living under this devil's, um, uh, living in this devil's system, you know? Ain't none of that madness, man. This is the end of this shit, man. This is the end of this whole shit. And that's what the narrow is. And the narrow ain't nothing but a motherfucking excuse that these Africans is used to go along to get along. Ain't no coming up. Ain't no fucking Hamites coming up. Ain't no, put it, let me put it, ain't no Africa going to come up. You know, they're not going to come up. You know? What's being established is the kingdom of heaven, man, under the rulership of Yahawashah and the elect. That's what's happening. You know? All this other bullshit that we're seeing is just the end of this devil's rulership. It's just, a, you know? It says this here. It ain't nothing you can do. It says don't take the bait. Reject the CBDC incentives. It ain't nothing we can do, man. This system is going to come into play. And he's going to allow this devil to eat here. Job 20. Job the 20th chapter says this. The whole the whole chapter of Job 20 is fine. Job 24, Knoweth thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment, though he is excellently mounted up to the heavens, and his hand reach into the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dome. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream, and shall be not and be found, yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. 
I also which saw him shall see him no more, neither shall his place any more behold him. This is speaking of the so-called white man. His children shall seek to please the poor, and his hand shall restore their goods. And this is what's happening right now in some small cases, in some small extent. For example, um, they're trying to give reparations to uh, Israelites, Jakes, in, in California. And it's a big discussion on certain parts of the country right now, giving reparations, paying reparations, $5,000, you know, to each, uh, uh, well, $5 million to the, to the, uh, the, the children of slaves. You see what I'm saying? Um, his bones are full of his sins of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. Okay, uh, Job 20 and 12. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue. Which is central bank digital currency, man. All the excuses they're using, why, we should, why it should come into play, why it's needed, why it's necessary. All that bullshit. Knowing he's creating all the reasons why. You know, great folk, money laundering, counterfeit money. Tracking criminals, tracking the children. Oh, you know, whatever fucking reason, this devil is just deceitful. Though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth. Yet his meat in his bowels is turned, and it is the gold is passed within him. He has swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up again. The most high shall cast them out of his belly. And this is the, he's in the midst of that moment right now. Stimulating massive amounts of wealth through wars and again through this CBC digital, the CBDCs. He shall, he shall suck the poison of ass, the viper's tongue shall slay him. He shall not see the rivers, the flood, the brooks of honey and butter. That which he labored for shall he restore and shall not swallow it down. So all the wealth, all the precious metals and precious stones that his devil is in possession of that. He don't even show it. He just got it all locked up somewhere and shit, you know. Show you that this devil is is, is totally opposite of us. We're going to shine in the kingdom, man. You're gonna, we're going to look wealthy. We're going to, you know, we're going like, to we're gonna, we're gonna shine, man. We're going to be gods, the gods that we are, man. You know? But this devil, he lock, he, hocks, he locks it all up in, in, um, in, um, in, um, and, 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 and uh, safes and, and, and you know what I mean and, and large uh, what do you call them uh, it's like the word is escaping me right now but he, he hides the money he hides the precious metals locked up in vaults and sh you know underground you know it says but he's about to lose it all because it's, all, it's rightfully ours anyway that which labor he shall restore and shall not swallow him down according to his substance shall the restitution be, and he shall not rejoice in it. Because he had oppressed and had forsaken the poor, because he had violently taken away any house which he built not. Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not say of that which he desired. There shall, not, there shall none of his meat be left. Therefore shall no man look for his goods. In the fullness of his sufficiency, and this is the day that's coming, this is that new world order that he's going to spring onto the world. He's going to force into the world with that um, with that karagma. Remember, that's this is where the CBDC is headed. It's just the beginning stages of bringing in that karagma. You see? So in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. So when he starts to bring these things to pass, then it's going to turn against him. You know? He's going to lose total control. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, his new world order, because he's going to begin to eat, and it's going to appear to seem like this is a, this is a, this is a success. Then suddenly, all hell is going to break loose. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and shall rain it upon him while he is eating, because that's ultimately where it's going to affect the Lord's anointing, his elect. And that's where the Most High is going to spring on this devil when he starts to affect the lives of the elect. He starts to start persecuting uh, unrighteously the elect, man. 
This is going down. This is the, what we're praying to happen, man. This is the days that, days that we're praying for. We're not going to receive the kingdom of heaven until we go through this fire, man. You know? The worst of it all. We're not going to receive the kingdom of heaven until we experience the worst of this devil, man. Get it over with, devil. Make your goddamn move. Make your goddamn move, man. Because we're tired of being here any motherfucking way. We're tired of looking at you and you got them, got them two-third niggas, man. That's some vexing shit. That's stressful seeing it. That's stressful witnessing that madness, man. It's a stress. It says, when he is about to fill his belly, the most I shall cast fury upon the wrath of him, shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and he shall rain upon him while he is eating. He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. It is drawn and cometh out of the body. Yea, the glittering sword cometh out of the ball. Terrors are upon him. All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. The heavens shall reveal his iniquity. And the earth shall rise up against him. This is speaking about the so-called white man. The whole earth right now is waking up. And that's why I mentioned Africa early night. Uh, with Africa. You see the videos on TikTok. How those African leaders. is They're working with. Uh, the, uh, they're working with Russia. And China. And no more working with the EU and America. <laughs> so the world is waking up. India. Pakistan. The big surprise is going to be, yo, watch Japan, man. Watch what happens with Japan. Japan is already selling off their uh, their bonds, their American bonds, in record numbers. Though you still have an American occupation there, uh, Japan is building up its military on a front that they're working and they're going to be allies with America. And remember, the scripture says, they that have uh, been a confederacy have the seed deep. Remember? It says, the heaven shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him. The increase of his house shall depart, and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. This is the portion of a wicked man from the Most High, and the heritage appointed unto him by the Most High. So this is the end of this devil. This is the end of Esau. In the, in Jacob. This is the end of Esau, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Jacob, the 12 tribes of Israel. This is a beautiful thing, man. So it is a black thing, you know? It is a so-called black thing, the colored thing, because in all reality, in the kingdom of heaven, even Jakes don't, that don't have melanin is going to receive their color back, man, you know? So to some extent, it is a so-called black thing, but it's a blood thing to that black thing. <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm just acting silly. I'm just acting silly. I'm going to shut it down, man, so. Hope we're inspired to next time and inform. Okay, till next time. Hopes we all praise on the Lord and how about you now shot. All right, double honors to the apostles, the great millstone, the elders of Jim Mass. Till next time, Lord willing. Uh, shalom.